just north of Burbank so far. It's burned about 20 acres. It does have the potential to grow to 50 acres, but they are apparently making really good progress as you kind of see the site there. The fire was burning uphill in light to medium brush. No reports of injuries, no structures are threatened at this time. It is the season before the holiday shopping season starts. Walmart is going to add 40,000 temporary and full-time workers this holiday season. Last year, Walmart said it would hire 150,000 permanent employees. This year, retailers are expecting a slower holiday season due to inflation. Retailers are overstocked on many products, including clothes, TV, and furniture. Walmart raised its minimum wage to $12 an hour last year. That is still lower than its competitors, Target and Amazon. After eight weeks, two anonymous winners have come forward to claim the Mega Millions $1.34 billion mm. dollar jackpot. The winning ticket was purchased at a Speedway gas station in Des Plaines, Illinois. The winners agreed to split the prize if they won. They chose to take the lump sum payment of $780.5 million. The two took their time coming forward because first, very smartly. They worked with professional, legal, and financial advisors. The jackpot is the third largest in U.S. history. Mm. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 4, a new survey of Metro bus riders shows there is a lot of room for improvement. Plus, what it means for the investigation of L.A. County Supervisor Sheila Kuehl now that the state attorney general is taking over. The man accused of burning down this historic South L.A. church makes his first court appearance. I'm Sid Garcia. That story coming up. That's all ahead at 4 o'clock. And that's going to do it for Eyewitness News at 3 o'clock. Up next is David Muir and World News Tonight. Great customer care.